Hey guys, Sandy here, and I am uh, about to scrapbook a photo, if I can find it. Here it is. I'm going to scrapbook a photo and a piece of memorabilia from Shake Shack. Uh, this was the first time we had ever went. Um, we had paid the donation uh, for No Kid Hungry, and we were given this card for our next uh, visit for a free shake. Now we knew we were going back before this expired. However, um, I forgot this free card at home, so we never used it for the free shake. Anyway, um, so I'm going to scrapbook uh, the card and the picture of Shake Shack together. And I've pulled some things uh, from my stash. I have this scrap of flutter paper, this polka dot flutter paper. Um, I'm using the B side and I know that's probably killing some people. It's actually kind of killing me too because I had thoughts of cutting these out and using them for layering. Um, but I'm not going to use all of it so I'll still have some of these pieces. This B side of the uh, pink Paisley Page Evans and I'm going to be using this kind of peachy orange mat. And I also pulled out this cut apart sheet from Simple Stories Bloom and Grow. I'm going to be using this green one right here that says get your happy on um, because honestly burgers and shakes make us we're pretty pretty happy so I'm going to be using that and then of course I have the usual stuff from my stash I have uh, freckled fawn stuff American craft stuff stuff I don't even know where it came from these are from Chamel um, so yeah let's see what I can do all right, so I'm deciding to ink all of my edges in uh, this great green color. And even though the green doesn't exactly match the lime greens, they're all close enough that they go well together, so I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to use this journaling card as my title. Um, I know it's going to say, get your happy on and something. In my mind here, I'm thinking about adding an ampersand and the word eat or get your happy on and chow down. Something of adding an ampersand and figuring out what it is. I end up going with get your happy on and enjoy because the uh, thicker sticker was there and it was easy to do. So I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Oh, I'm testing out these border uh, strips. I was thinking that I wanted something uh, down there to break up the monotony of that diagonal paper. I do end up doing something down there. I grab a 6x6 six six Simple Stories paper pad and uh, just add a layer, a strip under there eventually. Uh, so I'm deciding that I'm going to embellish on the diagonal. And it's going to start in that upper left corner where I put the Splendid die cut, and it's going to go down to the bottom corner where the title is. And I'm thinking that I will add something, a little bit of something in the middle of there. So in just a few seconds, you're going to see where I forgot to uh, turn back on the video camera. So I'll come back and just tell you really quickly what I ended up doing with this layout. All in all, it's a pretty simple layout, and I'm happy with it. Um, my Vegas layouts seem to run the gamut between simple and a little bit more embellished, so that makes me happy. All right, guys, um, I will get back to you guys soon. Okay, so I realized when I went to turn off the camera that I had never turned it back on. So, what I did <laughs> was pulled out some stuff from my stash. Um, I pulled out this cork globe, some um, geotags, a glitter heart, um, and some hexagon uh, enamel shapes, because I really never know what to do with them, and then just plop them on the page um, added just the tiniest bit of journaling, and I'm calling this one done. It's simple, but hey, it's done, and it's going in my album, and I like it. So, there we go.